Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special collab video to share with you. Allison from The Life of a Homemaker issued a challenge for YouTubers over the weekend, and the challenge was to organize your pantry or reorganize, clean out your pantry with spending zero dollars just using whatever you have on hand. Now, this is perfect timing because my pantry desperately needs it. Um, it's been busy and it's going to continue to be busy until the end of this month with birthdays and parties and me trying to finish up a term in school and just a million things going on. So um, the pantry has definitely seen better days and it's time. So I'm glad that she issued this challenge and I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys along. So first things first, let me show you the before. is actually my laundry slash mudroom and what we did was we um, stacked our washer and dryer and added this Rubbermaid shelving in here to be able to store food in here we used to just have laundry room stuff in here um, that's this top shelf was already in there from the previous owner as well as that one so and it used to have a door behind me is the kitchen there used to be a door right here the door broke so we took it down so needless to say this needs to be organized because we're having the kids birthday party on Saturday and I don't want people to see it like this it's horrible especially after the holidays and everything so the washing machine and dryer are paused um, so you guys don't hear them while I do this before this is the door to the garage I hung this shoe organizer on it and this holds like our water bottles and to go type like water cups plus I have my aprons hung there and I always have one of these bags in case I need it for something up here um, I don't know what's going on up there <laughs> I don't know this needs to be cleared off the top of the um, dryer is supposed to just be the bread maker and then the extra baskets back there but there's a thing of Campbell's soup because we bought it and we didn't actually put it away and then here's like the pantry stuff so I have stuff to organize it it's just not really organized and then this is laundry stuff which again is not really organized my towels go there this is where the dirty towels go and that's cleaning supplies I mean there's stuff all over the floor this is supposed to be the bread drawer and I don't know it got taken over by everything I've got a little spot down there which I usually put like granola bars and stuff I'll be honest, most of this stuff is empty and there's a bunch of boxes of Costco stuff out in our food closet in the garage because I just haven't refilled it. Um, that's Melody's dog food and in this one I have big huge bags from Costco of rice and flour. Those plates, I mean we'll need them for the party this weekend but they've been in here since we had guests over, I don't know when. These shelves we took down from next to our fireplace, they need to be taken to the other house for when we have our yard sale. The Swiffer should be hanging. Um, up here it used to be a bunch of platters but I've since taken most of them down or dropped them and broken them and then I've just got a mess up there. Like literally everything's a mess in here. Um, down to the floor. So I'm gonna give this a good...
here we go so I basically everything that was up there was trash it was expired so I took everything down that is the dog treats and that has popcorn kernels in it I had a green bin here but I decided I wanted to kind of keep with just like as much as I could just red and white um, I know that these are blue and green I'm gonna see if maybe my husband can paint spray paint them white and that might be better these are containers from the Dollar Tree I have a previous video about that I'll link that down below I just brought a clear tote in here and this has like easy stuff this basically this half of the shelf is all for my husband it's easy stuff that he can make um, Chef Boyardee, Campbell's Soup, there's Lipton Noodle Soup, there's macaroni and cheese and stuff. This basket has um, gluten-free gluten pastas in it that are in bags. This is just our regular pastas. Um, some things are labeled, some things aren't. This is couscous, panko, um, arborio rice, just all different kinds of pastas. These are my crispy onions. I used to put them in one of these, but um, I, I run out too quick, so I just left them in the bag. Like these will be gone by the end of the week. Got a few extra sauces there, just like my cans. Peanut butter down here. The laundry stuff. I took everything that was off the on the bar off. Um, usually, I will hang the things from my um, vacuum sweeper on there to dry because they can't go in the dryer. And I just put the new laundry detergent up because the other one was finished. And just all of our laundry stuff. That's um, OxyClean. That's for the dirty towels. Like I said. There's the clean ones, cleaning supplies, and those. I swept and mopped the floor. I wiped the top of that down pretty well. I just kind of organized that a little bit. Up here, we used to have drink mixes. I moved them up here because we don't use them that often. So there's extra chocolate for the chocolate milk. We do have small ones. They're in. I moved them to a different cabinet. There's lemonade powder, Kool-Aid powder, and Gatorade powder usually. Those are just for when we have people over. This stayed the same. Let me pause this. That basically stood the same except I took the Campbell's soup down and I moved my husband's lunchbox, which I couldn't find because it was behind the Campbell's soup, up to the front. And then over here, I just kept with red and white bins. So I had a green bin here. I'm gonna move that to a different part of the house. I had these two white bins out in the garage. I wasn't using them, so I just had Junior bring in snacks in them and then I just left them here. So this one's empty because we do need to go grocery shopping this week. So we're almost out of all of our snacks outside. This is hot chocolate. This has my snacks in it. So it has like almonds and um, seaweed and pistachios and stuff like that. This stuff, I just decided not to put any baskets here because this stuff we go through way too quickly. These are the cheese crunchies from Trader Joe's. My husband likes um, Craisins for Junior. Um, just, these are just some crackers I bought for when we were entertaining and we have an extra box. Crackers from when the kids are sick. These pirouettes and French vanilla that my husband and kids like. These gluten-free um, candy cane Joes, which there's only a little bit left. There's I've only eaten a little bit of these, like maybe two or three, but they're still good. They don't expire yet, so I figured I'd keep them in case I want a chocolate treat or if the kids want them. There's a few Oreos left in here, and then there's um, a box of Nut Thins, which are solely for me. The cereals are pretty empty, and the lid to this one I have to wash because it fell on the floor, but um, we do have cereal out in the garage. I just want my husband and kids to pick what kinds they want and to finish up the little bits first and then this has snacks this is basically stuff the kids can grab from here down everything else they have to ask for so um there's Chex Mix there's a pop tart because Junior had a pop tart um there's crispy treats these Ritz like handy snacks my husband likes those too oatmeal because they like to make themselves oatmeal sometimes on the weekend and we have the water cooler they can pour out hot water from it and they can just mix it with the oatmeal pirate's booty and then this has um, fruit snacks, some random um, peanuts in there, and then um, peanut butter crackers. I lined the Pop-Tarts up there because they fit perfectly. And then this has a bunch of different bars. So we had two granola bars left outside. We had a few Z-Bars and then all those Nature's Valley sweet and salty peanut bars, which are my husband's favorite. And then this is the bread drawer. So I just have a loaf of bread, some tortillas, one of these soft pretzel sticks, which is my husband's, some 
um, tortilla chips left, some taco shells, and then these um, somebody gave us from Singapore. And then Melody's food is the same, and that's the same. Hung everything up, swept, and mopped the floor, and I think we're good to go. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed just watching me do a quick cleanup of the pantry. I didn't spend any money to organize it. I had everything that's in here. Um, I do need to do groceries. As you can see, it's a little empty, but it's not bad. And it was really quick. It took me no more than like 20 to 30 minutes um, to do everything. And I packaged some snacks and did a few things in between. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for thank you to Allison from The Life of a Homemaker for inviting me to do this club. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.